Good evening, lovely people. This is Joe, and welcome back to my Alien Isolation Nightmare playthrough, the finale. This is it. Part 14, mission 18, tomorrow. Together. Right, let's save here real quick. I uh, don't detect any hostiles nearby, at least... At least the safe station doesn't tell me so. Tell me so, Berlin, tell me so anyway. You hear me? Are you close uh, this is it. This contact. will be, no, without a doubt, the final part. Um, okay, never mind. Oh, okay, what it was. Alright, cool. Right, keep it keeping my eye on you. Right, we need to right, I need to do this before we see you know what alien pops up. Oh error, error. Uh I've definitely forgotten this part one or two times. Um uh, fair to say I haven't played it much. <laughs> Fair to say I haven't played it much, but this is it. You will be getting my final thoughts after I, after obviously I beat I beat this. Um, I think I can get past one or two uh, parts that I know I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna struggle with. Now I believe it was down here. Was it? I believe to restore power. Well, the, dock, the, dock, the docking station. I believe it was down here. Let's find out. <clears throat> I want to say, was it in here, maybe? Yeah, it was. Reboot the system. I, I really don't, I really hope the enemy doesn't come and kill me while I'm in here. That would be most annoying. Alright. Granted, now I believe it's just one more of these and then uh, it's on to the next part, which I believe is getting to this, to this room over here. Check, nope, yeah it is. Yep, there's one more. And then access the computer. Or something like that, I don't know. <clears throat> Alright, so this part... You know, this took me by surprise a little bit. After we engaged the docking clamp. Please tell me that's you making that detection. Initialize. Relaine, the docking clamps are engaging. Okay, now find the room. I know what that is, but be warned, this part can this part does take me by surprise did take me by surprise a bit. Because of the sun's a certain something up here. <clears throat> ah, I was hoping for at least one more bit of flame for our fuel, fuel in there. It might, might just have to be a scare off for this one. I don't know. Do we have enough for a Molotov? We don't. We don't, that's really annoying. Oh! There's an alien up there. And she is hungry. <clears throat> and she is hungry. Right? Well, if I die here, I'm definitely I'm gonna cut back to uh, where I last went, where I last got off of, obviously. It's literally right there.
It's right above me. Can you leave? Can you leave the room alone, please? I can hear the doors opening. Opening, closing. Yeah, it's still there. I might as well. I might have to try and scare it off. If I'd, if I'd one more blaster caps, I'd be tempted to use it, but. Just have to be. Might just have to be a Molotov. I know it's there. Positive, it's in here. Okay, right, right here. No, now I remember. This is where the this is where the alien drops down. Uh, it's not down. No, it's not here. It's the uh, <clears throat> it's the uh, the, the bridge. That's uh, it drops down. <clears throat> it drops down. I think this. I can't remember if it's scripted. The alien drops down here, but we should have enough time. Yep, we do. Right, it's down here. Uh. Ah. But you know what? We have two Molotovs. That's a, that's okay. We have two Molotovs. Oh, it's just, just too late. It's the timing. It's the timing. That's the thing. It's a damn delay on the uh the Elgato to the. Gather to the TV, it delays the, uh, separates the, uh, feedback of the sound and the video. I, I don't know, I don't really know how it works, but, uh, it means that, it means that, yeah, I, I will hear the sound after the video plays. Plays effectively. Yes! Oh, yes, that, that is a lifesaver. That, that is an absolute lifesaver. So if there's two of them, I'm, I'm all tough. If, if it's one, I'll blast with this flamethrower. Get out of here! I didn't need to use them. I didn't need to use it a second time. There should be two down here. I remember two two of them. Drop down here. Okay, the other one appears to have buggered off somewhere. Faithfully, which lets me safe here. Okay, one death. Okay. Only one death. Got away with that, for sure. Ooh. Ooh, don't mind me, just gonna change into my last suit, you know? Last one here. <laughs> don't mind me, this game's gone through enough tourists. I'm sure they won't I'm sure they won't give us enough one more. No. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. Why? Why? Oh, a bit of, bit of guitar in my throat there. Maybe I sure hope I'm not coming down with something. I've got uh, my gym membership starts tomorrow as I'm recording this at the end of the month. August the thirty first. Yeah, full full month of it, you know. 
Hopefully if I, if I have the motivation to go, I'll come back fitter, stronger, and speaking of... Yep. Anyone else think Marlo has a point? Marlo had a point? Because I bloody well do. Because of this. Nah, we're the main character, but as long as we live, that's all that matters. Alright, so I can't remember which one of these eggs are actually uh, alive and which aren't. You think this one would be? This one might be. Yeah, it is. Uh, anything useful in here? Oh yes, we have enough now. We definitely have enough. Sorry for that delayed reaction. That was a bit. Sorry for that delayed reaction. That was a bit strange. But here we are. The. Now this. This is the nest. You have a nest. That is our two. Oh, one more. You never realise that why they don't, why they don't burst into flames. It's a bit weird. Oh, I don't. Ah, uh, I don't think I have enough here. Oh, this is gonna be close. What? What? Join me as I come back to where we, uh, we lost were. I didn't know there were three of them. All right, guys. Very quick cut there, but I, I think all the, I think, I think all the um, I think all the babies are dead unless we, all the face the uh, face huggers, are dead unless one shows up here. You know what? I'm actually gonna. It's loaded, right? Yeah. I'm actually gonna shoot one. I'm actually gonna shoot one. I'm actually gonna shoot the next one that pops up. I believe there's another one that pops up. Is it around here? Yeah, it is. Ah, that's more like it. Which explode? Probably should have. Really should have used the shotgun ammo for the. Should have used the shotgun ammo for the face huggers, but forgot how many there were. Okay, so. I think I remember this part. This part. Back up, back, 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 back. Yeah, like I said, what just in case, have this Molotov here. Not afraid to use it. With any luck, that should be it. Let's just carry this just in case. Actually, there might be another. I think there was a few flay. Uh, a few more face hackers I encountered on the way, isn't there? Oh. Oh, I forgot about this. Am I still alive? Maybe I maybe I did do, do the right thing, saving my shotgun ammo. Alright. Just in case when we fall again. Let's jam that into our veins. Alright. No fuel, cool. Sure, there's a safe point around here, please. Please tell me there is. It auto safe there. <laughs> Just let me make it through <laughs> Thank here. goodness for that. Yes, please, please, please do. 
I mean, it should do, because there are no more aliens left. Crouch here. Should be able to build another one now, just in case. Let's do that. Yeah. Um, hello? Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Oh, oh no. Did I just waste a med kit? Oh, I just wasted a med kit in case I get... Whatever. Oh, whatever, I shouldn't get hit by, any by anything. I can't remember this one, was it? Do I just fall down and... Do I just leg it? I think I'm just gonna leg it. This one. Oh, oh no, did I... Am I seriously gonna take more damage? I, I think I am, you know, guys. I think I wasted that med kit. I think that's gonna cost me. This part, I'm just gonna run over here, okay? No, just don't run into any fire. And you know what? I might be okay. If I don't, then then is the game would the game do something like that to me? Well, while I while I'm at full health after that those two scripted instances, surely not. I'm actually gonna get my revolver out for this. The shotgun takes a while to reload, so. Can I be too sure? Open up, open up. I'm going to let them come to me. You're going to have to come to me here. Because I'm not going... I'm not going in that vent to take you out. <sighs> Looks like I may have no choice. Where did they come from? Yep. Right, so this time, my bad aim is not going to let me down. I'm... Because... I'm just going to use a shotgun this time. It sh I should have enough time between shots to reload and... To shoot and reload and all that. I did. I'd be surprised if there's one more. Let's... Was that? Was that another one? <laughs> Which way was it? It's not here. Which way was it? Oh no, this. God, look at them all. You just know that more's gonna spawn unless I get my ass moving. Please, please let me survive. Uh, I think that med kit might have done it, guys. I, I don't think I'm, I'm... I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. There's one more here. Medkit. Shoot, I need to get out of here. Is it timed? I don't know. I think it's going to fall. Okay, I feel good now. Okay, I think we're, I think we're good. I think we're good, guys. I think we're good, guys. Get into the final stretch. Come on. Do we need to save? Ah, oh, 
Uh, you know me. It's my safe stations are a man's best friend. Change. And, that, and now the last incredibly long space sequence. But you know, it's part. It's it's part of the story. And actually, are we going to cut it here? Yeah, I guess I'll. I guess I will do a bit of cutting here and there. Uh, these visuals. Oh, just turn me around there for a second. I think you can see them. You can see them on the roofs here, can't, can't you? See them on here, can't you? Ah, funny, thought you could. Maybe it's too soon. It's a nice little touch due to details like that. my computer. Oh, they're already here. Why she's just watching, I don't know. Kind of the beauty, kind of the beauty of it, in a way. All right. All right. Oh, there are more of them. I wonder if you can actually die here if you take too long. to do here. I literally think it's just a question of tapping buttons. Just pressing A. Oh sorry, X. I, I keep saying A because I'm used to a I'm used to a PlayStation. Not an X not PlayStation. Xbox! <laughs> Wait for me. Valaine, on the torrents. Wait for me. Oh, the music's going. Is there a timer on this? I don't want to be asking myself that now. know why the music's going but it could that also it could also be the time you don't you don't know but they're here punch it punch it I see that I don't know why you I don't know why you're you're waiting Ripley ah! <laughs> Mercy of space. Ah, oh, all that money. Millions of billions of billions spent on it. The technology has come to this. Still insignificant next to a planet.
I don't know, is Jupiter even that big? I don't think it is. Sorry, I'm not very tuned up on my my alien lore besides the uh the films and even then it probably it probably tells you what plant that that is in like <clears throat> in one of the films. Verlaine, I'm on my way up to the bridge. Civilization, Verlaine? Oh the stories I have to tell, the horrors that I have witnessed. The the weirdly this the strange yet strangely erotic scary I've right. had wait wait I'm a guy <laughs> wait sorry I'm a girl <laughs> it's quick time I'm literally just I'm literally just flicking every single directional button right now. Left. I have to flick. The yeah, outside right to look right. Hey, I, I, I smashed that. I was quick on that one. And sequel bait. Farewell, Simon Franco. Well, I, I wouldn't know who he is, but I'm not going to pretend. But, but yeah, there we have it. It's done. This, this is Ripley. Nah, nah, no, nah, I'm not going to do that stuff. I, I don't. Know, it's, it sounded like some weird remix to me the first time. Don't, don't ask me why it did, but. I didn't really like it, but it, it's... I don't know what's thinking. Anyway, so that's the game. That's finally, any isolation is done. Uh, does it hold up uh, as well as it did, like, 2014? Uh, yes and no. As an homage to Alien, the original film, just uh, Ridley Scott's masterpiece. Uh, I think in that regard, yes. Uh, it holds up extraordinarily well. As, as a modern game with, you know, with in terms of a in terms of story, in terms of a uh, you know, mission progression, like pacing, uh, pacing, flow, uh, you know, constant, you know, stimulation, atmosphere, may like basically in, in terms of a modern horror game, not as much. Uh, okay, the things I've really liked about it, obviously it's it really does capture that simplistic, atmospheric, uh, very uh, like story, like story driven discovery kind of game. It it, it captures that extraordinarily extraordinarily well uh i think uh i think the first as i said the first few hours uh we get on to initial initially getting to the, the, the nostromo to the aliens uh the first the first appearance when i guess the sip when you see it in the transit car because once you get get to there uh it's very linear for, like the first hour or so that like the first two or three missions basically what basically the first hour yeah in my in my playthrough the first uh the first video so it's very linear, but once you get to there, the transit car, it does... The map does become a bit hard to navigate, in my opinion, because all the... Because it mostly it mostly looks the same. Yes, yes, the, the transit stations, but... Uh, I But, like, I can never... I can never remember which which transit cars to go into. Uh, may, maybe that's just my poor attention span, being able to pay attention to stories. Maybe, but I don't know. It looks... It does look very similar, though, doesn't it? So, that's a small nitpick I have. Um... But I would say, I would say, what was I saying? Anyway, the first, the first two proper alien appearances, uh, proper ones, not the one including Scotty. You know, Scotty's deaf. Uh, the first two I thought were great. Um, they were great. The first time when you encounter alien in, uh, was it Seeks and Lauren Sistek Spire? Great. Um, it's, it's second appearance, great. In the, um, in the San Cristobal Medical Facility, like brilliant. I was on the edge of my seat constantly scared to move as I am in horror games but but this I think in particular it, it puts you in this 
inescapable like scenario and it it's it's bloody terrifying and so I so said the first yeah three or four hours or so like with the aliens first two appearances and even even the trap yeah it's, it's third appearance as you were which um oh Scot scottish guy yeah axel that's his name uh, uh but those ones they were all honestly they were all really well done once again even though that that the trap was stressful i was still on the edge of my seat and uh it, it was the one that that did make me stop but i i came back of course i get, i was going to come back to it eventually uh, <laughs> I'm, I feel like I'm in a less busier place in my life now than I was when I first played this. I think once you do get the flamethrower, um, here's now here's why I don't think that's actually that big an issue. I can see why people do take issue with it because uh, the, the whole point is that you're supposed to be powerless and you know powerless against this creature. That's that's part of the fear. That's part of what makes it so terrifying. Is that all you can do is just hide and run. Not even run, because it's going to catch you. Just avoid it, and just pray. Uh, that That is part of the... That is part of the fear factor, but I, I see the flame for it as kind of... I see if it as, I see this kind of taking it to the next level. You you can't... You still can't fight this thing off. You can't kill it, so to speak, in this game. Which is... Which it looks like Firewatch is just going to go against it, hasn't it? But, I mean, then again, Aliens... Aliens did that, and it was still a... It, I think it was still a great film. It it works that fine line of like, still being, uh, so still being vulnerable but not completely powerless. So that's why I didn't mind the flamethrower. Plus you had, plus of course you had limited ammo and you had you know magic resources and whatnot, so you could just, just be a complete arsonist and go ah, you just like, <laughs> just use it all up. Uh, as I said, the story, uh, I, to be honest, I, I can't imagine like what you could have. Well, minus minus missions seventeen and eighteen, uh, after the what was it the the descent and uh, like the build up just the build up to the, the descent when you have to get to the bridge like you go into space the first time, you know it fails it, the docking fails and you come back all the way back through the seeks of communications and go through the descent that could have been cut aside from that, I really don't know what else you really could have done to make this mission is. You know, make the game a bit shorter, which I do. I do think I do agree with that complaint that it is, it is a bit too long. And um, you know, the the reason why it worked in Alien and not and not in this, why it didn't feel too long in Alien, um, to me, is that for one thing, one thing of course, Alien was new. We hadn't seen this world before. We hadn't seen H.R. Geiger's incredible Alien design before. Still, still, in my opinion, one of the best Alien designs ever made. But the second reason is that um, the alien, well, watching the alien film, it just it didn't feel like a chore. Yes, yes, you were still watching. There was a lot of time dedicated to, you know, just the worlds, the crew still, you know, on their mission of the, the you know, of the Nostromo on the on the planet, you know, doing their mission. But there, there was a lot of there was a lot of you know quiet moments and talk like that. But but again, once again, it was realistic. It was immersive. It was you know. You didn't feel like you were actually the, the engineers, you know, doing their their boring jobs. Or I guess, I guess that well, it's a matter of opinion. But but again, as as a game, you, you don't want it to feel like a chore, if you will. I guess. So um, that's why I feel like uh, it worked in Alien. Is that uh, it was new at the time, and it it didn't feel like a chore sitting through, you know, a lot of talk of these people just doing their jobs. But you weren't you you didn't have the stress of literally. And boredom, you know, of literally doing it. So that's one thing. That's one thing I felt didn't work about this game. And so, I, like I said, I do agree with the length uh, as well, because once again, there's only a few times, a few number of times where you can see the alien and still, and still feel the, the terror, still feel fresh, still feel, you know, still feel that feeling of intimidation. Uh, of course, of course, you know, the more and more you play, of course, it is going to fade out a little bit that fear it did with me save for some save for some creepy moments that haven't happened to me before but um so that's an issue i think i had with it uh other than that i thought the the atmosphere that just the hud bar with the weapons that and the weapons and tools that just gave you a bit of that's that was a bit of fun variety without breaking sort of the immersion still even though most of the weapons like the flashbang the pipe bomb and stuff works on the humans it did make you feel a bit more 
powerful. Again, once again, against the alien, aside from the Molotov and the flamethrower, it really, it, you really don't. It still, um, it still walks that fine line perfectly. It's, I still, other than that, yeah, I, I loved it. I loved, you know, I like some of the characters. I, I like, I still liked the setting. I liked the, liked the music, you know, the music, you know, the acting, the, the visual design, the production design and everything. It's still, do I still think it holds up? Yeah. Yeah, it holds up pretty well. I have to score it like a, like an eight or a nine or something like that. One issue I kind of do have of it is there there is a bit of bit of death fatigue. Um, I don't think I don't think you should be playing it on hard and ultimate. Sorry, night nightmare. <laughs> I've been playing it this whole time. I still I still think it's kind of a little bit pointless because um, the idea of the first alien as well. Like um, I, to me, this isn't the kind of game where it's one of those um, arc. You know, it's it's a game that's meant to be you know sped run. You know, to to get the highest score. You know, to to go through trial and one of those trial and error games. You know, to, to get the highest score or the best speed run or whatnot. For me, these games work. This game works best as an experience, like like the first alien film, to make you feel that dreads turning every corner, every second. You're wondering what's going to happen. You're on the edge of your seat, and for me, when the game just when the game uh, did do that, it was it worked very very well, but. But with missions, again, like the trap, the descent, you know, where it makes you feel more stressful than scared. Um, now, there's a difference between <laughs> good stressful and bad stressful. Like, like good stressful is when you're experiencing, you know, the same for like these encounters for like the first two or three times and the puzzles are not not too difficult. You know, it's, it's not too easy to get past. Like stressful, you know, stressful, um, like bad stressful is like going through unnecessarily long co long corridors when you don't need to or like being late on a test when you know when you ha when you know you hadn't studied before and prepared for it that that's bad kind of stress i felt like this game had that a bit specifically particularly in those two missions i mentioned so that brings it down a bit so there were times where i felt like it was i felt like it was it was a bit unnecessarily like long or tough at times like the reason that the reason why it worked in Amnesia: The Dark Descent, let's say, and I know that game uh, hasn't held up quite as well as it did ten years ago. Say what you, say what you will about it, I I still bloody love it. But one thing that worked in that, and yes, uh, yes, the AI of the of the enemies was was not very good, which is one of the few flaws in that. But uh, that worked because when you when you did die, and the game, it, like I said, the, the game. Amnesia knew it was an experience, and it every time you died, it it made it so the enemy that killed you at that point where you died do, didn't doesn't respawn. And that may sound may sound easy, but the point is the, the game it wants you to you know, feel the immersion, feel the experience of the atmosphere and the pacing and the music and just and feel like you're actually there. That that's why I feel it like, like it worked in Amnesia. I don't think it worked quite as well here. Like I said, you were put back to that tough place where, once again, the alien could drop down and just kill you then and there. I felt like it worked. So I felt like it worked a bit better in Amnesia there, the death fatigue, and just the, the unnecessary stress it put you under. But that was a small shoe. But like I said, I loved it. I've, I loved everything about it other than that. And it still, still holds up pretty well. So that... That's going to be it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching once again, fellow viewers. And uh, I don't know when I'm going to be doing another playthrough next, but uh, see how I feel. Maybe I want to come back to one or two games, but who knows what the future holds. But I've really enjoyed playing this. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching me struggle for it. <laughs> uh, but that's going to be it. So take care, fellow viewers. And I shall see you all again soon, hopefully in, in my next endeavor, whatever that may be. So take care. Have a good day. Goodbye.